welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today, we're talking about Guerlain. So the new Guerlain Rouge G lipsticks have been released. They are available on the Guerlain website, as well as on Bergdorf's. So let's take a look. I picked up five of the new cases. There are six new cases total and there are a bunch of lipsticks. I picked up five. <laughs> so uh, the cases and these lipsticks, these are kind of a first for Guerlain um, in the sense that they have recently announced a new creative director. So Violette FR, if you follow her on YouTube or Instagram, you know, she has her own makeup line as well. I did do a review on, on that before. But this was her first collaboration with Guerlain. So these lipsticks are a collaboration with Violette. And the cases are special because they're actually fabric. So, I mean, you've got the, the normal, you know, the normal metal backing. You've got it opening to the two-sided mirror. And then this part here is fabric. So there are six different cases. The only one I didn't get is a plain red velvet that says Guerlain on it. But we have this one, which is the French Chevron. And, you know, it feels like a blazer would, you know, like more of that tweed type fabric. So this is French Chevron. This one here is the Houndstooth. And this is actually like a really, um, it's like a really fine velvety texture. This is pied a pool or pied de pool, I believe it is. Um, but this is your houndstooth print. Very, very stunning. And then we have graphic tartan. And you can see we've got like a, a flat, like maybe a twill fabric um, on the bottom, but this overlay here is red velvet. This one is Tweed in Paris. It is a tweed fabric. You can see the red here is raised. And then this one here is dressed in black. I'm not sure if you can really see the detail very well, but it's, it's black velvet and there is a diamond quilted pattern on here, uh, you know, where it indents. So those are the five cases I picked up. Again, the sixth case is a red velvet that just says like Guerlain through the middle. And then I picked up a range of shades. Now, these new lipsticks, these are the luxurious velvets from Guerlain. So previously they have their Rouge G Satin Formula, they have the Sheer Shine Formula, they have a matte version. And this is now a velvet matte, which is a little bit different from the others. So they're calling this luxurious velvet. So I put my lightest shade here, in this case, this is 360 Milky Beige, and this is going to be a nude shade. So you can see, even though it's not technically a sheer velvet, it does go on fairly sheerly with one layer. So I do think that these are comparable to some of the sheer velvet lipsticks that have been popping up, and I will have this in my comparison with the sheer velvets. This is the shade that I have on my lips right now. This is 530 Blush Beige. I'm just gonna leave some room here for some comparisons. And you can see you can build it up pretty deeply. Now the majority of the shades in this collection are reds. So most of them are reds. <laughs> and so this one here is 880 Ruby Red. And you can see it's a classic cool tone red. We have 888 Burgundy Red. And this is more of a, more of a brick red. So it does have warmer tones in there. You can definitely tell that there is some burgundy in there. It also looks a bit more muted. And then we have 910 Black Red. And this one to me looked the most interesting, the most unique. You can see it's really more of a berry shade. It is red, but it's a cool tone red, you know, kind of like it is mixed with black and it creates more of this like berry red shade. And I think it's really stunning. I think it's a very unique shade. Now, as for information on these, the lipsticks themselves, they are supposed to have pigmentation 
for 16 hours. So it's a 16 hour high pigmentation. And again, these, you purchase the actual lipstick separately from the case. So the lipstick itself is three and a half grams or 0.12 ounces. And these are, I believe, made in France. Yes, made in France. And these lipsticks retail for 34 US dollars. So again, for 34 US dollars, you're going to get just this portion and it comes with a black cap on it. So this is how it will arrive in the box. And then these new fabric cases are $37.50 each. It does come with a little sticker here to keep it closed in the box. And you can get cases for as low as 22 US dollars uh, to fit these, but if you want these fabric cases, they are $37.50. So interesting, but these are designed in France, but made in PRC, which we know is China. So um, just something to know about the cases. All right, so let's get started with some comparisons. And we're going to start off with some comparisons from some other Rouge G lipsticks. These are not going to be the velvet finishes, but uh, color wise, this one here is 214. And I'm going to put this one actually right here down the side. Now you can see it is a warmer red. This is one of those classic reds from Guerlain. This is in the satin version. I also want to take a look at 81. We're going to put that one down here. This again is a satin and it's kind of a plummy mauve shade. You can see the difference between them. There's a little bit more, um, a little bit more plumish reddish black in the black red shade. Hard, hard to describe that. It's a little bit deeper as well. And then I have one of the Guerlain Rouge G mattes. This is in a limited edition shade that was number 94. We're going to put this one right here down the side oh I was thinking it was more red but that actually goes better with this but you can see that this has a lot more pink in it the 94 it's more purple and the black red is more red now this is the petal bouche from Violette FR and I mean you can see it is a liquid product but just so you can see the uh, color don't think this is really going to go well with any of these. We're going to put this right here. I did not pick up a shade that matches it, but there may be one because again, the majority of the range is red. And her petal bouche, you can see here that it does have cool undertones, but it really does look a lot like a red rose, which was the purpose. This is the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Matte that came out last winter. This is in 999 Eternal Red. Okay, so it's probably closest to 888 Burgundy, but it's really a cross between 880 and 888. So this is the Ruby Red and this is the Burgundy Red. So 880, 888, and this one here is 999 Eternal Red in the Kiss Kiss Matte take a look at some of the more beigey shades. This is the Chanel or beige from last year's holiday collection. I'm going to put this right on, on top. It doesn't quite go. It's a little bit peachier and it has gold sparkle. It is more of a satin formula, but I just wanted to show you that for comparison. And this one here is eternal in the, oops, in the Chanel, um, velvet extreme line. You can see it's going to be pinker not quite as brown based as the Guerlain and that is shade 360 milky beige this is beige ardent I'm gonna put that right up here yeah that's not really gonna go either you can see it does have a little bit more brown in it it has some gold shimmer as well make that a little bit better of a swatch uh, but it is gonna be rosier in tone this is a Givenchy Le Rouge de Velvet in number 10, Beige New. You can see it's gonna be pinker as well. This is the Guerlain Milky Beige versus the Givenchy. And then we have a lot more Chanel comparisons. This is 617 Camellia Granat. I'm gonna put this one right down here at the bottom. Oh, it's more, more reddish. So this is the Guerlain 910 Black Red, and this is the Camellia Granat. 
This is 58 from Chanel Rouge V, and this is one of the Le Leon matte shades. Put that one right here. And I thought it would be a little bit closer here to the 888 burgundy red, but you can see that the Chanel is cooler in tone. Uh, this is definitely going to be warmer. So this is another one of the Rouge Allure Velvets, and this one is 277 Rouge Fauve. Let's put that here. So this one's going to be a little bit closer, actually, to the Guerlain Burgundy Red. You can see that the Chanel is just slightly warmer than the Guerlain. It's a little bit, has a little bit more of those brick tones in it, but they're very close. We have one of the Rouge Allure Lipsticks from the holidays last year. This is Aura Quivra. And yeah, I thought it might go with black red, but it really doesn't. This one was number 117. We also have 137 Porpra Door. All right, that one's a little bit closer, but again, it's still more purple. It actually goes better with that shade there. So you can see there's more red in the gear long. And then we have 637 Camellia Porpra. Okay, again, more purple um, than the Guerlain, but those are all my closest matches to these. And just a few more Givenchy, um, these are the Le Rouge de Velvets. This is 38 Granat Fumé. I'm gonna put that one right here. Mm, doesn't quite go. You can see that the Guerlain's more red still. We have 36 Lantardi. It's gonna be a little bit warmer than the 880 Ruby Red or than the 530 Blush Beige, which is more pink. This is 14 Rose Bois. That right here. It's more purpley. I was thinking it might be close to the 530, but it's really, really not. And then last we have 37 Rouge Grenet. And, you know, I think that red is really in a class of its own. It doesn't really go with any of those. All right, so I'm going to share some lip swatches of these five shades with you as we talk a little bit about this formula. So according to Guerlain, these lipsticks offer exceptional softness, color depth, and they are long lasting. There is 16 hours of comfort and wear. It's a highly pigmented velvety formula that smooths onto lips like velvet and again offers 16 hours of intense color and wear and these lipsticks are infused with mango butter and hyaluronic acid spheres to help protect your lips it comes in 15 shades and there are four signature shades in this collection so there's 214 flame red and again, I had the satin version of the flame red that I swatched. Then the 880 ruby red, 888 burgundy red, and the 910 black red. So turns out I got three of the four. <laughs> so those are their signature shades. Again, as mentioned before, the formula, the actual lipstick refill portion is 34 US dollars. The case is 37.50 and these cases were inspired by a Parisian wardrobe. Now, as for my thoughts on the formula, I do find that they last, you know, fa fairly well. I have a little clip that I will share with you of how the lightest shade performed, uh, you know, throughout the day. So you can see what that looks like. And I will share that in, in just a minute. But as for my opinion on the formula, it goes on very thin. It has a texture like a matte lipstick. You know, there's a little bit of that powdery feel, but there's also a little bit of like cream to it. So it's not gonna be like creamy and emollient like a Givenchy or the Rouge Deep Velvet. It is drier than that. It has more of a texture similar to a sheer velvet, but slightly creamier than those. And I have to say that you do forget that you have them on your lips. They are very light on the lips. However, I don't really find them to be super comfortable for 16 hours. 
as the day wears on and I get closer to the end of the day, I find them to make my lips feel a little dry. So I don't know if they're actually drying out my lips, but my lips are in want of moisture um, around like the seven, seven to eight hour mark. So I personally, you know, I don't find them comfortable for 16 hours. I do find that the pigmentation will last that long. I like to refresh it with gloss, which is what I'm showing you in this clip here. And I have to say, I have done a wear test with a few of the shades now. And I think actually the one that feels the driest on my lips is the lightest shade. So I'm not sure if that has something to do with the pigments used. So the shade five, uh, 360 Milky Beige that's the one that gets the most uncomfortable for me. And it's not like it's truly uncomfortable. It's just mm, not great. So I, I do find that one to be a little bit drying. The other shades, I find that I don't really notice so much when those have worn off and I do still have a pigmented stain left on my lips. You know, there will be patches depending on what you're doing. But again, if you take like a, a gloss or, you know, more lipstick or whatever, it all evens out and looks beautiful. So you can definitely, you know, get that color to stick around for a full day, full 16 hours. So that's kind of my opinion on that. As for how much I like these lipsticks, I do like them. I think they perform better in the deeper shades. I particularly love the 880 Ruby Red and the 910 Black Red. I think the Black Red is a really, really unique shade and I really enjoy that one. Uh, as for the formula, it's not gonna be my favorite. So these will probably be the only five that I pick up, but that's not to say that I wouldn't purchase them again. I would purchase these again but I probably would always limit them. Uh, personally, personal preference for me, I usually prefer satin lipsticks, something with a little bit more of an emollient feeling. And that's one of the reasons I really like the Givenchy La Rouge Deep Velvets because they stay emollient on my lips for a very long time. And I also, you know, I think, I, I just find them to be a little bit more comfortable than these. Uh, the Sheer Velvets from Givenchy I also find to be a little bit more comfortable than the 360 Milky Beige. And yeah, slightly more comfortable than the other shades as they wear off. But for the majority of the day, they do feel very similarly. So I think overall, it's a really nice lipstick, but I honestly was expecting a little bit more from Guerlain because I love their Rouge G Satin Formula so much. I have to say their Rouge G Matte Formula, I think is, is okay. I haven't had any issues with it, but it hasn't been one that I've loved. And I do find this to be very similar to that. So in my opinion, these are a nice product that I like, but they are not a love. And I hope that helps. So let me go ahead and share with you this little clip so you can see how it wears and what these look like you know after a while and if you decide to top it off with gloss i actually really like topping it off with gloss because you can keep that that pigmentation level there and it looks like you've like freshly applied lipstick and you don't have to look in the mirror so uh take a look at this and we'll be right back so just a quick update and it has been seven hours since i applied this lipstick it is shade number 360 from the Guerlain Rouge G Luxurious Velvets. And this is how it has worn. So I've had dinner and everything, and you can see it's a little patchy, but you still have pigment everywhere. I'm gonna show you what happens when we apply. This is just the Tower 28 like Clear Lip Gloss. And There you go. So once you apply the lip gloss, you can kind of like move around any of the pigment so it doesn't look patchy anymore. And I think that really kind of revives the look a little bit. So I hope that was helpful. And I would love to know what your thoughts are on these. Did you pick up any of these? Did you not? I have to say one of my favorite parts of this collection are the cases. I love Rouge G cases and I have quite a few of them, not quite as many as Silver Joe, who has a fantastic gear long collection. So follow her on Instagram because she posts her um, photos of them sometimes. And 
I don't know if she has all of them or almost all of them, but she has a ton and uh, some of them are like special editions. So it's really cool to look at. But these fabric cases, I, I knew as soon as I saw the original promo photos of these that I was going to have to have them. So I think they are gorgeous. I didn't intend on picking up five originally. I was going to pick up just like hopefully like three, but honestly, the cases drew me in. They are stunning. And whether you like the actual velvet formula or you prefer a different formula, you know, these cases can be used with any Rouge G lipstick, regardless of the formula. Again, my favorite would be the satin uh, formula. So yeah, I think the cases are fantastic. And I have to say, I do, I do like the lipsticks. Um, they're just not as good as I was expecting, if that makes sense. But I still like them and I'm happy that I bought them. And yeah, I feel like, you know, when you put them on, you really don't feel them on your lips. They're dry and powdery, but not like drying out your lips. It's not until the seven or eight hour mark that I start to feel like my lips really need moisture. So, and again, that's mostly with the 360 Milky Beige shade, the lighter shade. The darker ones, you know, I can go a few extra hours without feeling that. So probably closer to 10 hours with those. So just something to know, I bet it has something to do with the pigments uh, that they use in that particular shade. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. If you found this helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, please share this video with anyone you think who may be interested. I will see you very soon. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy.